Hello friends, I'm Dee about to react to this vid by Lovely TTV. It's titled, Beyonce's half-brother Nixon wants to know why he lives in a trailer and why she doesn't love him. Who? Why don't you love me? Tell me, baby, why don't you love me? When I make me so damn easy to love. Sorry, that's inappropriate. But I don't know this boy or man. And I'm unclear on how he's Beyonce's half brother. Uh, I do remember hearing something about her her daddy had a baby on her mama, but wasn't that like in recent years? Like maybe five years ago? Am I tripping? I I don't know. Maybe this is before that. I have no idea, child. We about to figure out what's going on. Let's watch. Hey, sippers. I hope everybody's doing good today. So once again. We got to talk about this situation with Beyonce and her half-brother, little Nixon, and the mother, Alessandria, right? So if you guys do not know, once again, Alessandra is taking to the news media to blast Beyonce. So you guys know I've been this you case since literally 2010 when it first broke that um, Matthew Knowles had a love child out here. I've done videos on her and also the second child that he also had because um, he was sued for child support for, for Takoya Branscombe's child as well, which ended up being a oh. daughter named Koi Knowles. Oh. So right now, this is what's going well, on. Alessandra yeah. recently on? did an interview with The Sun magazine in the UK, and this is what they're stating. So they're saying while his big sister is buzzing around the globe on a Renaissance world tour, Beyonce's 13-year-old half-brother who has spent his formative years living in a trailer with his mom, Alessandra Wright, questions why don't you love me the singer won't show him any affection claimed the teen's mother he asks why doesn't that person love me nixon has never had the luxury of being a normal child right says being related to somebody famous smothers kids like him and they lose their identity i sit in the bathroom and cry sometimes because i don't know how to help him be his own person Representatives for Beyonce did not immediately respond to the post's request for comment. Ciao. Wright, who was a former public relations representative for Microsoft when she met Knowles in Seattle, Washington, back in 2007, he said, I'm going to stay in Seattle to you didn't get none out of it. Okay. He stayed for two or three weeks until I finally said, fine. Soon after becoming acquainted, the pair embarked on an affair amid Matthew Knowles' 31-year marriage to Tina Knowles. Throughout their nearly two-year relationship, Alessandra said she didn't feel guilty for sleeping with a married man. And that's what she she did, says, bro. I was not conflicted about the situation because his marriage was not a functioning marriage. I don't think he told his girl. family about me. She admitted that she took Nose's persistent advance for true love. It was a complex situation and the family structure had been fractured for a long time. Alexander became pregnant with Trash. Nixon in May of 2009. Stupid. He was born in February of 2010. Yeah. In March of 2010, the DNA test proved that Matthew Knowles was in fact the boy's father. She well, said she ended the relationship with Knowles just before the music mogul who masterminded Destiny's Child was fired by Beyonce in early 2011. Wright claimed that the father-daughter duo's professional partying of ways occurred after upset. a financial audit that prompted accusations of misappropriated funds. We oh. had joint credit cards and bank accounts, and after the audit started, he just cut me off. I left him, and he, he didn't expect me to make that, that choice. It ended like. because I'm better than that. After a year's Girl, long, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars child her. support dispute left Alexandra bankrupt and without a roof over her head, she had to have help from a homeless child. Oh, and pictures? she eventually was able to reside in a two bedroom mobile trailer. Matthew Knowles and Tina Knowles eventually divorced in twenty eleven. But now what was so interesting is while Matthew was going through all of this with Alexandria, um, his second baby mama, who had his second side baby, her name was Takoya Branscombe. And like I said, she is the mother of Koi. And Koi, I believe, is about 12 right now. Beautiful little girl. She's acting and trying to get into modeling. But Matthew Knowles does not acknowledge either one of these children. Like Beyonce doesn't Beyonce. acknowledge them either. Because she did not. And my thing is, Beyonce does not owe these children conceived. anything. It's always interesting that whenever these mothers come out and talk, it's always Beyonce doesn't acknowledge my child. Beyonce doesn't acknowledge the siblings. 
But last time I checked, Matthew Knowles has not one but two daughters. How come they never bring up Solange? Because Beyonce How come they never the say, well, money. Solange doesn't acknowledge her half-brother? It's always Beyonce. And I feel like they do that every time. You know, every few years when she's popping and she's on tour, one of them comes out and cut. they have a sob story about how, you know, Beyonce is not paying their child any attention. My thing is, when y'all were making these children with Matthew, Beyonce wasn't in the room. Period. Y'all weren't worried about Beyonce, how this would affect her emotionally, how this would affect, you know, the relationship between her mother and father who were married at the time. Exactly. Neither woman cared, but now somehow they feel like Beyonce owes their children something. Beyonce doesn't owe either one of these children Make anything. Things. If she chooses to step up and be a big sister That's to them, great. But if she chooses not to, she has that That's right. Her, her loyalty is to her mother. Exactly. Her loyalty is not to her father and his side chicks. Exactly. The audacity of her coming it's out every child. few years to blast Beyonce at this point is just comical. You know, and it's sad because neither one of these children deserve that. Both children are just simply adorable. Nixon is so handsome. He looks like a cross between Matthew and Alexandra. Um, Koi is gorgeous. You know, and it's sad that both of these children are being affected by their father's decision. You know, I don't understand why they're not more upset and Matthew Knowles not exactly. playing proper child support. Go after not the spending daddy. time with these kids. Why You've never the heard Matthew Knowles ever acknowledge either one of these children. But for some reason, they always have smoke for Beyonce, but not the man who knocked them up and left them. You know, it just doesn't make it's sense dumb. to me. I've been covering this affair and this drama for the past 10 years, so I'm not it's shocked that, you know, every few years she comes out with the same song and dance. And the fact that the son is, like, literally trying to play these games in the article where they're comparing Nixon's life oh, to Blue man. Ivy's life, I think is just such an insult. Right. Like, there were parts of the article where Blue they're saying, Ivy. oh, That's her Blue style. Ivy had a $50,000 Barbie doll for her first birthday. And, um, you know, she has a playroom that costs $80,000 with the Jumbo no. TV screen. But poor Nixon, the only thing he owns is a $250 um, Nintendo Well, at Switch. least he got that. Somebody, it's like, somebody why are got comparing that. comparing Nixon and Blue Ivy? They have two different situations, two different sets of parents. And Nixon, un unfortunately, he's not going to be able to enjoy me. the fruits of okay. his sister's labor because of how he was conceived. So to compare his lifestyle to Blue Ivy is a slap in the face. I just think the son is being very messy with this story. Well, even the fact I'm that they're pointing out that you know Beyonce has He's one of the most expensive homes in California. It costs her two hundred million. California. Meanwhile, you know her half brother lives ten miles away. Been from the <laughs> they're definitely is trying to sensationalize like that, this like California. and make Beyonce look bad. But the only person who looks why bad she, in the situation is like one the adulterous woman who chose to to procreate and get pregnant by a married man. And also Matthew knows the man who didn't have respect for his marriage, who didn't have respect for his family legacy. Exactly. You know, so he put his family in the situation. He put Alexandra with her help in the situation. Exactly. So again, for the life of me, I don't understand how this always falls on Beyonce's lap to clean up Matthew Knowles' mess. Matthew's a grown man. If he chooses not to step up and be a father, that is on Matthew. It just shows the type of dusty father he is. You know, he's willing to put in the work with Beyonce and Solange because he knew there was a check to be had. But with these last two children, he's kind of washed his hands of them. But unfortunately, this is what happens more times than not when you decide to be a side chick. You know, most side chick situations end up like this because unfortunately, the man will treat the child with contempt. So this is why women need to think twice before bringing children into the world in a situation where you're the I'm side sure chick. He want you to because a lot of times those children who are the results of the affair, they end up suffering. Even if they're getting, you know, a monthly check and child support, they still end up suffering emotionally because that bond is not there with that child. I agree 1000%. My consist was spitting, okay? Beyonce had nothing to do with these kids being born. Why would she step up and take care of them? That is not her responsibility. So you thinking that she should be paying you to some degree is bizarre. What the fuck are you talking about? And comparing how Blue Ivy is living to, comparing to how your child lives makes no fucking sense. Blue Ivy is her child that she had, that she popped out. What the fuck are you talking about? That makes zero sense. You were a side chick. You knew this man was married. You still spread it open for him. 
and then had a baby by a married man just dumb decisions all the way around and you thought oh i'm about to come up because this is beyonce's blood no she don't want no parts of that i'm pretty sure she was very hurt by her dad stepping out on her mom and having kids she she's i'm pretty sure has some trauma associated with that and you think that she wants to step in and not only have a relationship with your child but pay give him money what what are you talking about <laughs> this whole situation is dumb it makes no fucking sense leave beyonce alone she had nothing to do with this i don't feel like she has to step in at all if i was beyonce i probably wouldn't either to be honest yeah i, I definitely wouldn't no i don't want to parse that you and your side chick and whatever families you created with your side chicks can stay over there i don't want no parts of it it's trifling those children were conceived um from a place of lust and deceit <laughs> and uh I, I don't want anything to do with it to be honest good luck to them but i'm gonna have to keep them over there and i'm, I'm gonna be over here and live my life because this is all trifling that's my opinion but i don't know y'all let me know what y'all think let me know what other videos you want to watch and i'll see you on the next one bye